So for those of you that are just checking out my videos for the first time now, uh, we renovated this old farmhouse that was originally built in 1864. Of course layers were added onto it through the years and this cool old house came with a smokehouse. And I don't know what year this smokehouse would have been built. Um, it was missing its front door and it has a back door on it, but we decided to turn it into a chicken coop because it already had a cement floor and it would be easy to clean. Where is it gonna go? So here's some of my silkies and my naked neck chickens. I also have a turkey named Beethoven. Beethoven turned out to be a girl. Um, and then we just have this black netting. Um, it's used. It's used usually for gardens to keep birds from flying in and taking your food, but um, it's kept chicken hawks and all kinds of things out of here so it's worked really nicely then every night I close up this back door so the chickens are safe inside and basically what I've done because I don't have a gate yet is we have this piece of rope and inside there's a bungee cord holding the door open and when I pull on this rope it puts tension on the bungee cord but I can tie tie this string on this fence somewhere and it's just enough to keep the door shut then when I want to open it in the morning it just opens with the tension so it's worked out pretty great so my dad was super helpful and he put these two strips of fencing on for a front door for me um, the, t the bottom one is totally tacked in and is predator proof the top one he put a nail in here so I just lift it off the nail and I can open up this portion but as of right now I have no way to go in there other than climbing the side of the fence so I do want to add a door on there Hey guys, so basically I want to put some nesting boxes in the chicken house that we've made. And um, if I have time, I would like to try to build a door for the chicken house. We'll see if that happens. Hey guys, I have so many spectators. Basically, I'm just going to take off this crate that I've used as a nesting box going to take it off the wall and we're going to put it with the silkies up there. The goats do not like the sound of this gun. So this little girl, Jacob named Bunny because she has big puffy cheeks like a bunny. Um, the people that we got her from were fattening up her and her siblings to take to an auction um, because they were going to be auctioned off by weight so fatter animals bring more money um, so we scooped them all up and we've had them on a little diet they still have lots of grass to eat uh, we're just giving them less pellets I'm sure than what they were being fed um, and we're still working with them on getting them to be a little more friendly but she's super cute, aren't you? So now we're in the smokehouse, or whatever we want to call this building. Um, you can see my bungee cord here on the back side of the door. And it's got the string in front 
going outside. Um, and in here, there's still all kinds of hooks and rings and things that I don't know much about. We've just left them here because it would just be something else we'd have to store and the chickens really can't get to them or bother them. There's all kinds of hooks and of course about a billion bundauber nests in the ceiling. And we do have the old hand well pump here that we haven't had a place for. But like I said, it's got a cement floor. Uh, this board going across is a board that we put up for a roost for them, which they've barely used. Um, mainly because silkies cannot fly and in my experience with them they tend to want to just lay on the ground which is terrible for predators um, you know because they're they're a very easy target so everything that you put up for them has to be low um, I try to keep things like around two feet off the ground because any more than that they really won't be able to use it so yeah, um, we have an egg over here right now. Oh, two eggs. So I think I'm gonna put one of the boxes like right here above where they've been laying because they must just like this corner for whatever reason. Um, and then I'll put one up a little bit higher somewhere. And once I put these boxes up, I absolutely expect that there's still going to be some of them that are just going to lay their eggs on the ground because, like I said, some just prefer to stay on the ground. I always forget how hard it is to drill into solid oak. It is some tough stuff, you guys. But luckily, I have this awesome drill and it makes it a little bit easier. So I don't know a lot about carpentry at all, but I realized attaching that crate to one of these beams, you would basically have one screw over top of the other. And I like to kind of put things diagonally. So I thought these braces would be a good spot. Um, I could probably get a couple more screws into them and have some weight going on each corner instead of just right in the center and then everything pulls on that center piece. So I think three screws, yeah, that'll hold a chicken just fine. And this girl's already trying out this box. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if there's a project you want to take on, I hope you think outside the box and use what you have on hand. Because um, that's what the fun is all about. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.